We're back with another buying guide video and today we're gonna to be covering the line of Invictus. You know, it's kind of weird why I haven't done this line yet. This is one of the more popular designer fragrance lines. Of course, the original is very popular and then some of the flankers as well, Invictus Aqua and it's really about it in terms of the flankers, but these two, yeah, they're really popular. I've done a good amount of these buying guide videos at this point. There's a full playlist of them. So if you wanna check those out, you can find that in the playlist section and I'll link it down below as well. Essentially, my goal with these videos is to help you make a purchase on a fragrance or a couple of fragrances. The thing is, once you get into a lot of different flankers, you know, once a line has been out for years and they have tons of different versions, it can be really hard and really overwhelming to actually choose which one you want to purchase. I remember that was one of the things that deterred me when I first got into collecting was seeing all these flankers and not really knowing where to start. And I actually missed out on a lot of great fragrance lines just because I didn't really want to start into them because I was so overwhelmed. And I don't want that to happen with you guys. I want to try to lay this out as easily as I can, make it as digestible as possible, and just give you kind of the basics here. And that way you can make a decision for yourself on which ones you think you want to try and which ones you would want to avoid. It's been a while since I've done one of these buying guides. We're more than due, and now that I'm unpacking my stuff, I found some of them, yay. I will link all the fragrances that we talk about today down below to discounters. If you want to pick any of these up, Hit the links down there and they'll take you straight to it. Uh, with these Paco Rabanne Invictus fragrances, you can save a good amount off of retail. So make sure you don't buy retail, like ever. That's yeah, just a bad idea. And by bad idea, I mean you're going to be spending a lot more money. Let's dive straight into it. First up, the original Invictus. This is what spawned the Invictus Flankers. And also all of the other Invictus style fragrances out there on the market, which there are... A lot of them, and you have this to thank for it. Yeah, let that sink in. And you may be wondering why mine says Invictus on the front. Oh, you have a fake. That is 100% a fake. Why are you showing us a fake? Um, no, actually, this is a tester. If you buy a tester, it will come with the name on the front. I have another tester here too, Invictus Legend, which we'll talk about in a minute. That says it on the front. Idea is simple. When these are sitting in the department stores on the shelf, you want to be able to read what it says. Uh, ironically, it says Invictus engraved into the top, but you know they want you to know 100% for sure that you are smelling Invictus. Like they want that to be right in your face. Get a load of Invictus. That's what they want. C notes, grapefruit, and bay leaf are some of the main notes. Uh, really, that isn't the best description of how this smells, at least for me. I mean, sure, you get the C notes. Um, you get a saltiness. Uh, you get a bit of a freshness up top, but really what it is, is a bubblegummy sweetness all the way through. And you've heard that a million times and you may wonder what a bubblegummy sweetness would smell like. And if you are curious, smell this, whether it be through a sample, a blind buy, full bottle purchase, or you know someone who has Invictus, smell this. And from that point on, you will know exactly what bubblegummy sweetness smells like. And you'll never have to ask that question again. Most of you have smelled this, so you know exactly what I'm talking about here. It is sweet. It is playful. It is uh, kind of summer oriented, even though it is very sweet. That's just kind of what this one's all about. Definitely for the younger guy. Guys who are in high school and college, this is going to really work well for you and you're also probably really going to like how it smells. This is basically engineered to get compliments for the younger generation. So if you're in college, most girls that are with you in college are really gonna love how this smells because it's bubblegum sweet, it's playful, it's ambroxan. Yeah, this stuff just works. So for me, and the original Invictus isn't my favorite. You know, it just is a bit too bubblegummy sweet for me. And we can get a counter going here on how many times I say that in this video. Maybe you guys can count it up and leave it down below in the comments because uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot, just an FYI, but not my favorite. I just don't care for it all that much. And that's not me saying it's bad. It's not bad at all. It's just not for me. This bottle is solely for <laughs> video purposes. Uh, for the longest time, I never owned one of these bottles. Never had a desire to, still don't because I don't wear it but it is video purposes, hence why I saved a few bucks and got the tester. Good thing about this one is, is that it has great performance along with the compliment factor, which is very good. Performance is also fantastic. It is a very strong scent. It will last on your skin all day. It's got strong projection. 
uh, it really does well in that category. And that's what you would expect from something, just how this one is composed. It's gonna be a bit on the synthetic side, but that's just kind of how it is, and that's why it works so well. Let's go ahead and get into one of my favorites here. This one is Invictus Aqua 2016. So I'm gonna cover everything here in this video except for Invictus Onyx, which I, from what I've heard, is the same as the original, and I didn't wanna buy it just for that reason. Uh, but, you know, 2016, 2018, and everything else here, I'm gonna be covering. So this is Invictus Aqua 2016. 2016. Most of you know the story behind this one. If you don't, I'll just give you a really quick gist alt. And basically, this was released as a apparently a limited edition in 2016. Actually, kind of, I think 2015 it was, something like that, end of 2015, something along those lines. It was out for, what, a year or two, and then gone. Nowhere. It was discontinued even though it was a limited edition. I don't know exactly what was going on there and why they decided to follow through with actually killing this one off if it was a limited edition because this thing, it spread like wildfire. If you weren't in the fragrance community when Invictus Aqua 2016 was around, you're missing out because people were going crazy for this stuff. I mean, in all the Facebook groups on eBay, People were asking for bottles, where can I get one, where can I get one? And well, I kind of fell into that too and I overpaid for a couple bottles of this. You know, just a couple. Paid a little bit more than retail. Buy a little bit more, I think I paid 200 bucks for one of these. Yeah, roast me if you want, it's pretty bad, but at least I have it now. And this is not that bottle either, it's a full bottle. This is just one of my other ones. I really like this stuff. For summertime, it is so playful and so fun. This is a bit less sweet and a bit more aquatic than the original Invictus. C notes, Yuzu, and Ambergris are some of the main notes. Again, pretty standard here. It's going to be an Ambroxan. Uh, the C notes gives it that aquatic smell amped up here in this one and a nice fresh Yuzu note up top. This is synthetic to the max, but that's what makes it so good. And I've said this before millions of times, it's almost so bad that it's so good and it's like a guilty pleasure. That's why I love it. You know, I shouldn't like this because, you know, I am kind of a fragrance enthusiast here and I should have better taste, but I still love it. Performance on this one is also monstrous. That's another reason why I've always loved this stuff because it is a summer scent that lasts 12 plus hours. And I've said this before as well, but this was one of my go-to pool scents. Yes, I would wear this to the pool because if you get in the water and get wet, this is still hanging on. Like, if you shower, you have to scrub this off. And even if you scrub, it may not be off all the way. It's that potent. So I'm going to the pool, going to the lake, and I'm gonna be getting wet or sweating a lot or a mixture of both. Invictus Aqua 2016 is my go-to because you just can't kill this thing. It just keeps on running, keeps on performing, and that's why I love about it. The stuff is just a weapon, and that's why it's one of my favorites, and that's why I stocked up and overpaid a, a little bit on some bottles. Next up, Invictus Aqua 2018. C notes, violet, and grapefruit. Again, pretty standard here. The note breakdowns on these, again, still don't really do the scent that much justice to me because they are still just sweet. You could look at a note breakdown like this and and you know expect something completely different and in fact there are other note breaks downs similar to these that smell 1000 percent different c notes grapefruit ambroxan come on that's the most standard thing ever so don't you know rely on the note breakdown too much with these and that's why you have to be careful uh, but again the thing with this one here is that it's invictus aqua 2016 but smoothed out it's higher quality they actually took it to themselves to improve the scent when they re-released it so everyone was saying you know we want invictus aqua back whether or not they have plans to do this or not i don't know but we get it now in this you know cool gradient bottle here. It is a gradient. Uh, the, the fragrance itself is clear and you're not seeing anything, are you? Hold on. The fragrance itself is clear as you can see, but there is just a blue gradient at the bottom there, at the very bottom. That's kind of why you get that look there. Um, so that's kind of uh, the bottle. I do like the frosted glass better, but again, the scent is smoother. It's a uh, higher quality. It's a bit more well blended. However, at a loss of performance. It's not terrible, but it's nowhere near the nuclear activity of the original. And that's kind of a bummer. 
it's not the end of the world because you really don't need it to last that long anyway, but again, that's one of the main reasons why I liked it. Even though this is smoother and all around is probably the better fragrance if you were to chalk everything up, I still like the 2016 better. Yeah, I just do. The fact that it's so synthetic and so obnoxious and so strong is what draws me to it. When they kind of uh, made this better, for me, it actually made it worse, but it still smells great. It still gets you 95% of what the original Invictus Aqua was, and this is really your only option anymore. Great summer scent still. Next up, we have Invictus Intense. Now, unfortunately, I can't find it. <laughs> I looked through most of my boxes here. It's probably buried at the bottom. Uh, I actually bought it just for this video, so it's kind of annoying that I can't find it, but I wanted to go ahead and do this, so we're just going to have to roll with it, but I did buy it um, because I didn't really have it before, and I bought it in the 50 mil small bottle size, so that probably is uh, helping to why it is hiding somewhere. Whiskey, amber, and ambergris, or hambroxen, are going to be some of the main notes, so you get a bit of a boozy touch. Uh, you get that whiskey top note. It's a bit fresh. Uh, you get the amber in here. It's a uh, Bit of a smooth, sweet amber, um, and then of course the ambergris ambrox and giving you kind of a warm fuzziness as well. It still has a bit of a bubble gummy thing going on, it still has that playful thing going on, but it is a step in the direction of making it less bubble gummy, less sweet, and maybe just a, a bit more mature if you could even call Invictus mature. It just kind of uh, goes. Uh, you know, makes an effort to go in that direction. Performance on this one is also great on my skin. It's kind of on par with, uh, you know, the original Invictus and um, not really Invictus Aqua 2016. That one is kind of unbeatable, but most everything else it's kind of on par with, you know, nine hours or so on average of longevity is kind of what I get out of it. Up next, we have Invictus Legend. Sea salt, amber, and ambergris. I shouldn't even bother with the note breakdowns on these. So this one for me isn't one of my favorites. You know, it does separate itself from the original, but in a, a different way. You know, it adds a lot more of a saltiness. Uh, it adds a bit more of a sweetness in here, but it's almost more synthetic. And there's something that's, for me, a bit off-putting that I just don't care for. And I've never cared for Invictus Legend uh, ever since it first came out and I got a bottle. Personally, I would recommend you guys to buy the original Invictus over Invictus Legend. But again, that's just based off of my opinion. And at the end of the video, I'll kind of give you my full rundown on what I think you should and shouldn't purchase. If you like it though, that's great. Go for it, wear it, and enjoy it. It just doesn't work for me. Performance, again, similar thing of about the nine hour on average mark. Great performance out of basically all of these, which is great. But again, for me, smell just doesn't hit at home. And last up, Invictus Victory. <laughs> this bottle is ridiculous. It's like 150 mil. I went ahead and picked this one up just because I was curious to what it would actually be like. And yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. But I'm glad I have it because I actually really like this one. We have vanilla, tonka bean, and amber as some of the main notes. So this is quite a bit different than the original and everything else in the line. Oh, it smells so good. It's got a fizzy cola sweetness, a bit of a dusty vanilla. Uh, that amber in here is a bit powdery. It smells really, really good. It's impressive. Every time I smell this, I'm like, this is an Invictus flanker? What? But yeah, it really is. This is kind of like a, you know, an Invictus Parfum, even though it smells nothing like the original. But when you look at the bottle here, all blacked out with the nice gold accenting, this is kind of usually the the look of a Parfum, you know, in a, in a line of flankers. It kind of starts out in a, a regular glass bottle. They need to get a bit of a gradient thrown in there for an EDP, and then usually a Parfum will be kind of all blacked out um, and is quite a bit different than the original. It's kind of what this looks like, but again, scent-wise, it is nothing like anything else here, and that is in a really good way. It really smells great. I can't wait to wear this one in the fall and winter time. Yes, I will be reaching for this a lot. Just smelling it in the air right now, this is good. It is way better than you would expect for an Invictus flanker. Performance is around seven to eight hours, so a little bit lower, but still not terrible, and that could change as well as I you know, I haven't tested it fully like I have with Invictus Aqua 2016 where I've worn through 
a whole bottle almost. Uh, this one still needs a bit more work and it could depend on the weather, the day, that sort of thing. But kind of seven to eight is what I'm getting. It could probably go a bit longer as well. Great performance out of it though at that point. And honestly, scent, quality, everything about it is really good. This stuff is a, a top-notch flanker. I really like it. Now we're to the point of the video where I'm gonna tell you what I think you should purchase. Now personally, I think my favorite and what I think is still worth picking up is Invictus Aqua. Of course, this is going to be the 2018, the one that you can get on discounters now. Unless you are somehow so lucky to be able to find a 2016 bottle that is authentic for the same price as the 2018, it's hard for me to sit here and justify you to pay more for the 2016, so I'm not going to do it. That's your prerogative if you want to go for it, but I will say please watch out for fakes out there. 99% of you guys are just better off going to discounters and buying the 2018. That one, in my opinion, is still a fantastic summer scent. Next up, I would say Invictus Victory. Go for this one. If you are off put by the Invictus line because it's too synthetic, too bubblegummy sweet, I feel ya, but you gotta try this. Give it a chance, give it a shot. It is nothing like the others, and it's honestly really good for a fall and winter scent. This one here is kind of sexy and kind of addicting. And that's about it. That's really the only two that I would recommend you pick up. Again, this is just my opinion. You could still buy the original Invictus if you want, and you know, that's up to you. If you like it, go for it. But for me, my personal favorites are the ones that I just mentioned, and that's just kind of what I would recommend to you. But you need to do your own research, try these out for yourself, and you can see. You can throw in Invictus Intense, you could throw in the original Invictus, but honestly, while Invictus Intense is different, it's got that whiskey note, Invictus Victory is better, and Invictus Aqua is better. That's just kind of where I stand. I don't want to sit here and give you all the options and say, oh, go buy them all. I'm trying to narrow it down here, and those are kind of the two that I would pick up if I was in a situation where I didn't have any. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me. That's my Invictus buying guide, better late than never. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so if you like these, make sure you leave a like and comment and I'll keep them up. I've got some more planned. And remember, if you wanna grab any of these for yourself, they will be linked down below to discounters. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.